Yo what's up everyone, Mr Premps here and given that I recently looked at my top 5 most awesome Zora moments, I decided it would be pretty cool to start doing a top 5 series and so in today's video we'll be looking at one of my favourite characters in the series and that's Sanji. Now as usual, before I get started, of course, make sure you leave a like on the video as it helps me out so much with that YouTube algorithm and ensure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss out when I drop more content just like this. And now the formalities are out of the way, let's get into this Sanji list. So at number 5, I've gone with Sanji saving Tashigi from Virgo. Now I know many people might not have this moment in their top 5, but for me I really enjoyed this encounter. It was post time skip in Punk Hazard and Virgo who I must remind you all was a double agent as he was a vice admiral in the marines and also Don Flamingo's right hand man who many tend to forget as they refer to Peacock. But trust me it's Virgo and that should give you an idea of how strong Virgo really is. So just to track back, once Tashigi had found out the truth about Virgo and him being a double agent, she wanted to confront him. She warned some of the G5 members that Virgo is not the man that they believed him to be and it was at this point that Virgo attacked them and as we all know Tashigi isn't very strong so this was light work for Virgo and as Virgo goes to finish her off out of nowhere here comes Sanji skywalking just in the nick of time to save Tashigi and without hesitation Sanji states he felt a woman crying in the distance and that's why he came to protect them. And honestly for me, it's hilarious, but also cool at the same time. Because if anything, yes, Sanji is a simp, but Oda has been so consistent with him coming to the aid of a female that I can't complain. And honestly, to top it all off, we get quite a decent interaction between Virgo and Sanji too. And I think Oda does this on purpose for power scaling reasons, because although Sanji probably wasn't strong enough to defeat Virgo, he definitely held his own and acknowledged that Virgo was a tough opponent. We saw the use of Haki by both of them, but what I do want to point out for those who might want to hate on Sanji here is that we must remember that Nami had previously destroyed his body, so this wasn't even a full strength in Sanji. But anyway, I digress. I truly enjoyed this moment and I think it's fitting for the number 5 spot. For number 4 on this list, we're going to dress Rosa and yes, it's the Sanji and Dofi encounter. And for me, this moment is great. And once again, fitting off the clutch straw hat Sanji. Now the context behind this was actually due to a plan devised by law, including the protection team for Caesar Clown. Now the protection team in Green Bit consisted of Nami, Brooke, Chopper and Momo. And without going into too much detail, Law found himself in a scuffle with Dofi. And as Law appeared defeated, Dofi mentioned how he would turn his attention to the protection crew who were stood on the sunny and the protection team knowing full well that they couldn't take on this warlord were literally begging Law to help them so as soon as Dofi began flying to the ship out of nowhere again here comes Sanji skywalking and meeting Dofi mid air and he was there in a the nick of time to protect his friends and once again for me I love this it's so consistent with Sanji's character, he always seems to find himself in the right moment at the right time. And yes I understand people want to laugh at him and say well he couldn't defeat Dofi but I want to remind you all that it wasn't his job and I mean Law couldn't defeat him and Law has a broken devil through. And then we see in a final battle even when Law double teamed Dofi with Luffy it still required Luffy to go gear 4 have time bought for him to regain his haki before he could defeat Dofi. So honestly, give my boy Sanji some props here because he did a fantastic job. Number 3 on this list is one that I think goes over a lot of people's heads and that's Sanji offering his life in the fight against Kuma. Now this offering tends to get overshadowed by the nothing happened Zoro moment which is arguably a top 5 moment in the series in totality. But we must remember that Sanji offered his life here too. And this actually happened after Zoro had spoken about his own ambition being irrelevant if he couldn't even protect his captain. Which as I mentioned in my top 5 Zoro moments, literally gives me chills. But soon after this, a beaten up Sanji interjects this conversation 
and tell Zoro what would become of his own ambition if he was to die here and then demands to Kuma to ignore Zoro and take his life instead. And I find this so beautiful, but it doesn't stop there. He continues to explain that the Marines have been taking him lightly and that soon enough, they'll realize the most dangerous in the crew is actually him. And for me, honestly, the manga hit, but the dialogue we get in the anime hit. You can see the absolute broken shape Sanji was already in and the shock in Zoro's face when he's truly acknowledging his comrade. I mean Sanji even tells Zoro to say goodbye to all of the Straw Hats. That's how dedicated he was to giving his life. And if it wasn't for Zoro sneaking Sanji and knocking him out, we may have got a nothing happened moment from Sanji instead here. But honestly, the scene is fantastic. And just before I move on to my number two, it's worth remembering that even once Sanji found out exactly what happened to Zoro, he respected his sacrifice and made sure not to tell the rest of the crew, showing such character and it just adds to one of the many reasons why I think Sanji is such a great character. Number two on this list has most definitely got to be Sanji's first Diablo Jambe during the Ennis Lobby arc. And it was when he was fighting Giobora and first things first, I just want to point out that Sanji arrived in a nick of time again to replace Usopp in this fight and he had to retrieve the so-called key. As Giobora keeps using Iron Body, Sanji decides it's time to whip out a new move where he rotates so quickly that the friction causes him to coat his leg in burning heat, increasing his speed and beastly increasing his strength. I truly love this moment and it was really cool to see the reveal of a new move at such a crucial time and the way he brought it out reminds us that this was something he'd clearly been working on and found that this was the right time to use it. It was absolutely fantastic and worthy of being number two on this list. Number one on this list, if you haven't been able to predict it, is Sanji vs Enel. And honestly, this is up there with some of my most favourite One Piece moments because for me, it's not just about shock factor or winning a fight but characterization and moments that coincide with the character. And the moment I'm just about to talk about definitely does. So towards the end of the Skypiea arc, Zoro has been defeated and Enel has taken Luffy out of the equation. Enel had taken a ship airborne with Nami on board as hostage and Usopp found himself on the ship attempting to rescue her. As Enel was having his way with Usopp and Usopp was effectively down for the count and unable to move, Enel goes to finish the job on Usopp using his signature move, the El Thor, which is like a massive lightning attack and once again, in the nick of time, here comes Sanji out of nowhere to kick Usopp out of the way and takes this massive attack of electricity from Enel before thanking him and telling him, thanks, I needed a light, and inhales a puff of his cigarette. And honestly, this moment is absolutely amazing. Not only does it fit in with the recurrence of Sanji's character turning up right in the nick of time, but the damage he takes right here, and then thanking Enel and taking a puff of his smoke. This is a GOAT movement and I absolutely love it. It's so fitting and I don't care what anyone says, this is taking my number one spot on this list. And I already know so many of you are going to question this list because there's so many moments that I have missed out on, but that's not to knock them down the peg. So just to give some special mentions to some of these moments, I love the Sanji being Mr. Prince and that could arguably be on this top 5 list without any hesitation. And also him opening the gates at Eni's lobby. I even loved it when he actually took out the fodder and dress Rosa too on behalf of Viola. But by me just naming a few of these other moments shows how difficult it is to actually just pick 5 of these. In fact, one of the best things about Sanji is that it appears that he plans well ahead of time, unlike the other characters. That moment of him opening the gate in Water 7 where he waits for CP9 to escort Robin into the trains, I think that's just fantastic. I personally think Oda's done a decent job with the character coupled up with the fact that he's a normal person with no weapons, no fruit and uses only his legs to attack. I honestly commend Oda as he's handicapped himself there yet continues to allow Sanji to shine in both combat and tactical prowess. But I guess that brings this video to the end. 
I would absolutely love to know your top 5 Sanji moments and as a Sanji stan I'll be judging you all accordingly and calling you out so make sure you've got your points to back up your list and let's discuss. But as always if you like anything I've had to say please make sure you leave a like on the video and if you would like to see more content like this make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss out when I drop more gems just like this. Safe.